April Fool's Day is here finally. Wish you a very, very, very happy April Fool's Day. And here are 10 insights for the month of April. How should you plan for this month? You can say this is the most important month of the year. It's the most crucial. It's the most critical. It's the most unpredictable. It's the most bizarre month of the year because there are so many critical events happening in this one month. All right. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. And here is the first, which is, of course, that it's the month of Vaishak. It is the beginning of the Vedic New Year. So wish you a very, very, very happy Vedic New Year to all the followers of Sanatana Dharma. I wish you have a grand new year. All right. So that's the best part. <laughs> now let's get into the astrology part. So for India, this is the second point. For India, as I already predicted in uh, one of the previous videos, in two videos actually, uh, there is some volatile period which is coming from uh, 12th of April to 25th of June. Okay, so this is a period where you could see, you know, some uh, unrest or some violence or, you know, um, some, some issues could be there. Some law and order challenges could be there. Okay. And of course, this is but natural because uh, <clears throat> uh, we also have the looks of elections and the results will be out on 4th of June. And if you have not watched uh, the video where I have predicted who is going to win on 2024 and 2029, then please watch it. You will find it in my channel. Okay. Uh, so especially the month of April after 12th. So any, so if you have any long distance trips planned for 12th uh, or later, um, especially on days like 13th, um, 17th, 22nd or 26th, uh, then uh, you need to be watchful. Okay. So have some security, have some more time than what you need. Okay. <clears throat> and please take precautions. Okay. Please, please, please take precautions if you are in India. All right. Then, of course, the biggest event of April is the solar eclipse in the sign of Pisces, which is there on 8th of April. Okay. So, solar eclipses are new beginnings. Okay. So, new beginnings, new startings will happen in uh in the course of six months, not exactly on 8th of April, but it will act as a start, okay? So wherever the sign of Pisces is falling in your Bhava chart, okay? Not Lagna chart, Bhava chart, that is where, uh, especially the degree, I think it is around, uh, I'm not sure, it's around 20 degrees, I guess, uh, 20, 21 degrees So <clears throat> of Pisces. So wherever 21 degree of Pisces is falling in your Bhava chart, okay, that is where the new beginnings will be. So for example, uh, let's say you are, um, you are Scorpio Lagna, okay, so for you, Pisces sign is in the fifth house, okay, because Pisces is number 12. But the 21 degree in your Bhava chart for Pisces, uh, for you, may not be in your um, fifth house. It might be in your fourth house. Okay, it's possible. <clears throat> um, especially if your uh, degrees uh, of, if your ascendant degree is like, you know, 25, 26, then it's possible that 21 degrees in your fourth house. So then you will have new beginnings related to fourth house. Okay, not fifth house. So this is a big mistake people do. Okay, so the kickstarter event is there and then of course uh, the fourth event is the most uh, how do i say funny event which happens every uh, three four months all right which is the retrogression of mercury so tomorrow second of april mercury will be retrograde until 25th so when mercury goes retrograde we know what happens right now uh, old friends come up again um we, we we have to rethink on signing contracts and all these things, you know. So whatever something important that we do may backfire. Okay, so if you are have any plans to travel or to um, yeah do something very important legal or law wise, then um, try to see if you can do it after twenty fifth. Okay, or else if you can't, if you have to, then take some backup and then implement it. Okay. Now, number five is on 6th of April, Saturn will enter Purva Bhadrapada Nakshatra. Purva Bhadrapada is the Nakshatra uh, which is related to Lord Shiva and also Ajayika Pada. Okay. Uh, so, I have also made that video. If you have not watched it, you will find in my recent last uh, one week to 10 days that video. <clears throat> and um, 
even here you have to see uh, which houses Saturn rules and because Purva Bhadrapada is a challenging nakshatra so you can expect that certain things regarding to the lordships of Saturn so for example if you are you know, if you are a cancer lagna for example then your Saturn is seventh lord eighth lord right so for you you know, it could happen that something related to your uh, marriage or your in-laws, you know, you need to put more effort and there could be more struggle that is required, okay? But you need to check your dashas and then your transits, okay? Then number six is Jupiter will enter Kritika Nakshatra on 17th of April. And of course, then later on Jupiter will be retrograde, not in April, of course. Uh, but this is a very interesting movement because... Uh, Jupiter in Kritika, <clears throat> I'll make that video specifically, but uh, for uh, in short, Jupiter in Kritika is a very uh, beautiful position because Kritika is the nakshatra where the moon gets exalted, right? <clears throat> and uh, Kritika is also the nakshatra of purification, Agni Devata and uh, fire rituals and all this, okay, Yagyas. So therefore, uh, if you have any plans to do yagya or do some purificatory things like you know fasting and all this you know then then that's much better for you and the best part is jupiter will be out of bharani okay so after bharani kritika nakshatra comes so uh, in my opinion kritika is not an easy nakshatra but much easier than bharani okay all right and number seven of course uh, almost uh, till the entire month or I'm not sure I think till 25th of April Venus will be in Pisces Venus has already entered Pisces yesterday <clears throat> 31st of uh, March and this is the exaltation of Venus okay so this is a time where uh, depending on the lordships of Venus so for example if you are um, if you are a Capricorn Lagna then Venus is your 10th lord right so something to do with profession uh, will require very high awareness so for you whichever houses venus rules you will see that you will require uh, to upgrade your knowledge and your awareness regarding those houses okay and of course number eight is uh, jupiter's cycle in aries will complete because on first of may exactly a month from now jupiter will enter the sign of taurus okay so aries is new beginnings uh, new beginnings uh, starting uh, something radically different okay so uh, if jupiter rules a prominent house in your chart and you want to do something new then you still have time this is the best time uh, do it uh, i would suggest to do it after 25th when mercury goes direct so from 26 7 8 9 uh and 30th so in these four or five days you can plan to do okay so for example if jupiter is your 10th lord and you want to um do something in your profession okay so then this is a great time so now the aries energy is there so start it okay then of course uh on 21st april uh this is not an astrological event but uh there is this uh bitcoin halving event and we know always uh, when bitcoin halving goes on you know the prices of uh, cryptocurrencies they go high they go low so it's a very volatile month so be very careful if you are in the crypto space okay and of course last but not the least numerology wise april is always volatile because uh, it's number four okay and number four in numerology is the number of uh, unexpected events okay so this could also be quadrupled by the additional fact that mercury is retrograde and third factor is that this is the year of saturn so 2024 comes to eight so eight is also a difficult number okay so therefore uh if you if you have any plans to uh, if you have any very critical plans and you are planning to end things you know, then maybe you have to cross check and you have to do the proper uh, risk assessment okay so don't just take decisions uh, abruptly you know just just because you feel like doing it okay so because this is the month where you should pay heed to good advice okay so if you are confused in some area of life uh, try to get some good guidance uh, in that area of life okay so these are 10 predictions, uh, sorry, insights actually, these are not predictions, but indeed very, 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 very volatile 
uh, filled with changes, unpredictability, uh, excitement, uh, bit difficult for India on the law and order front after 12th, but uh, please take care, okay? I hope things go well and uh, new beginnings also could happen because the nakshatra planets are changing their nakshatras and especially for jupiter saturn very 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 important months okay so if you are lord if you are a sagittarius or um, pisces lagna or capricorn lagna or aquarius lagna then this month is very very prominent for you okay thank you so much for your patience uh, if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and for personalized consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him for sure. Thank you.